In this video, we are sharing with you five more scroll saw projects that have a Christmas theme. So onto our first project, as you can see, we're marking out the design to be stuck onto the wood itself. We're working in two contrasting layers. So we've stuck those two layers of wood together. We then proceed to cut out all of the holes that we need to use later on to do our pierce work. So on the pillar drill, drill the three holes that create like a tinsel effect on our Christmas tree. Afterwards, you get those little indents where the drill goes through the back of the project. Sand them flat on your belt sander, or if you haven't got a belt sander, hand sand it using sandpaper and a block. Once we've done that, that's the preparation done ready for getting onto the scroll saw. So as always, we start off that process by doing the pierce work first of all. So we got three little pieces that are cut out inside the tree, creating that effect of the tinsel first of all. We have like a halo on the top of this project and that is cut away from the tree because what we're going to do is to have the back layer in our pale coloured woods. We're going to mix that up with our front layer which is in a green coloured piece of tulip woods. That contrast then the green perfect for the tree and then that lighter colour creating that effect of a halo over the top of the Christmas tree. Once we've finished our scroll sawing we sand everything down on the belt sander and then glue that green Christmas tree and the white halo star over the top of it. We then add three coats of shellac sanding sealer rubbing it down in between each coat and applying it in the direction of the grain. With this project then we also get that off cut so we can make two Christmas trees from the cut that we've done on our scroll saw. We're turning this particular one into a dome, a glass dome with an LED light. So we super glue our tree after it's been shellacked to the base and then put it inside the dome. Onto our second project and this is a simple holly themed hanging Christmas decoration. So once again we start off by preparing for our scroll saw work. So we get our design, we stick that onto the wood using a simple PVA glue. We get our layers prepared, so we're super gluing three layers together. This allows us to produce more for our single cut on the scroll saw. This is going to be a hanging decoration, so we drill the hole out that later on will be used for feeding a tassel for that hanging decoration through. Once again, it's on that belt sander just to get everything flat on the back, making the scroll sawing slightly easier. When we go across to our scroll saw, we don't have any internal work, so there's no pierce work on this particular project. We're just cutting out the surround. You may notice that the order in which I cut everything out may look slightly unusual, but what we're trying to do is to keep those three layers together for as long as possible to make the cutting out as easy as possible. So if we completely free it on the certain side, it will free the layers from one another, making the cut slightly more difficult. Once we finish the cut, we then sand everything on like a finishing sandpaper on the belt sander, something like a P180. And this particular project, then we're gonna finish off by hand carving. So we're gonna have some holly berries at the base of the leaves. So we round off the shape of the berries, put a little bit of detail on the leaves and a single line for some extra character in it. We then add three coats of shellac sanding sealer, rubbing it down in between each coat and applying it in the direction of the grain. A tassel will be put through the loop, so we just push that through the loop, cutting it to make it slightly easier to feed, as you can see I was struggling to do so, and tie a knot in the top. We move on to our largest project of these five. So we've got two hanging decorations and we've got three glass dome with the LED lights. This one here is a nativity scene, a popular design that we do, but we've added some extra features to it. So we put a larger star 
above our stable and we've put angels either side of the star. Just adds a little bit of extra interest and something slightly different on the nativity scenes that we have demonstrated previously. So we continue with our preparation, same as the other two projects where we've stuck the design onto the woods. Wait for that then to dry. Drill your holes for doing your pierce work onto the belt sander to get a nice smooth back so it sits on the scroll saw bed nice and evenly and then we start our process of doing the pierce work. There's no right or wrong when it comes to the organization of your scroll sawing. We generally do that pierce work first of all. You can see us starting off at the top by cutting out the candle that is silhouetted inside that star. We then do the detail in and around the angels, separating the section between the star, the angel, and the stable itself. We cut an outline for the figures of Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus. And then afterwards, we're cutting the outline of the entire scroll saw project. Once more, we're stack cutting, so we get two projects. And if you're doing this from a commercial point of view, you are getting two products for your one cut on the scroll saw. This can be a really good method and one that we utilize a lot to make sure we get the maximum return on the efforts that we put into our scroll sawing. We're just doing a little bit of carving, so just add in an extra dimension to this project by carving the different figures that are in the design. Once that is then completed, we're using that same finishing process a shellac sanding sealer. We apply that with a brush that we soak in methylated spirits and then super glue that design onto the base of our glass dome. One thing it is worth noting when it comes to the shellacking, I don't put the shellac on the base because it helps without the shellac to get a better grip with the super glue onto the base. We move on to our second hanging decoration project. This is one that we've demonstrated previously, but we thought it was appropriate for this particular demonstration. We're using those stack cutting methods once more, and so we stick three layers together. The wood that we're using here was given to us many years ago, and it was originally intended to be used to make simple little trinket boxes another process that we've demonstrated on the channel. But we can also use them to make all sorts of interesting decorations, fridge magnets, key rings, these sorts of simple projects. We do all of that drilling, ready for doing the pierce work, sand everything again nice and flat on the back. So this design is one that I've done previously, but in this demonstration, we're cutting out an internal cut, so pierce work inside the star at the top, which can be used to put a tassel through and turn it into a hanging decoration. What I'm basically highlighting is that you can adapt the design to turn it into a slightly different product. So we do all of that internal cut. We're creating the effect of tinsel once again in our Christmas tree design, creating that idea that the tinsel is wrapping around the Christmas tree, almost a modern style. Once we then cut the outline of the Christmas tree, we finish it off in terms of the sanding on a higher grade, something like a P180 grit on our belt sander and we add three coats once more of the shellac sanding sealer. Projects like this one then can be a little bit tricky when it comes to the sealing. You've got to make sure that you get all of that shellac on the inside in the pierce work that we've done. Probably my least favorite part of the process because I find it the most difficult is putting a tassel on the top. So we tie that knot, shorten the pieces above the knot that are left over, and you've completed your second hanging Christmas tree decoration. On to our final project, and this once again is going to be turned into a glass dome with the LED light shining through at the bottom. So we're using stack cutting, so we stick those two layers together. We then stick the design onto the wood itself. 
and go across to our pillar drill to continue with our preparation. So we use that pillar drill to drill all of the holes for doing the pierce work. Drill out any holes that are big enough to use our big drill bit and then go across to our smaller drill bit and drill out those fine holes for doing all of the pierce work later on on the scroll saw. We sand it on the back. As we explained, if you can get a nice flat back on your project, it makes the process of cutting out on the scroll saw just a little bit easier. Moving across to the scroll saw, we then start out with our pierce work. So the first part of the process, we're working on that candle. So at the top of the design and similar to the first demonstration, we cut out in between our angel that is either side of our silhouetted candle cross, separate the angel and the cross itself, cutting in between, put all of those little bits of detail that are required for our angel cross candle design and then cut the surround out on the scroll saw. Once that's completed, we go across to our belt sander to get a better finish. Sometimes as well, there's a bit of super glue left over where we've glued together the two layers. We also have to sand off the paper design that we've stuck on to give us our lines as a guide when doing our scroll sawing. We add those three coats of shellac sanding sealer rubbing it down in between each coat we then use our starbond super glue and the accelerant check out the link in the description if that's of interest to you and then stick our cross silhouette candle angel design to the base of the glass dome so there you go that concludes this video demonstration hopefully it's interesting Hopefully it gives you some more ideas to help you with your own scroll saw projects. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you again for watching.